Steelers Cast on TimesOnline.com. Chris Mueller, Chris Bradford, recapping day two of Steelers OTAs here at the UPNC Rooney Sports Complex. Chris, uh, one of the top storylines also, no Ladarius Green. You know, obviously, he was cut just before OTAs, a surprising move to all given you know, we didn't really know much about his status. Um, but at the same time, really nothing has changed for the Steelers' tight ends, you would say, based on the fact that a year ago, Ladarius wasn't out here participating in OTAs for his ankle injury. So now, um, you know, same kind of thing, same situation. How do you think this really affects the position, you know, heading into next season? Well, obviously, without Ladarius Green, it's, it's, it's certainly a different position. None of the players that the Steelers have currently on the roster possess the skill set that a Ladarius Green does. The Steelers don't have that top-end uh, pass-catching receiver that Ladarius Green provided them for only six games. But they still have the guys who got them good enough to get to an AFC championship. You've got Jesse James most prominently, and then you have a guy like Xavier Grimble, and another guy who can bring a little bit to the offensive side, and David Johnson, a blocking tight end. You know, I don't know that the loss of Ladarius Green is necessarily a deal breaker for the Steelers, but it is a loss. Right, and Jesse James and Xavier Grimble are, are the two uh, players that are going to be primed to step into a starting role next season. They'll be kind of competing here and especially in training camp when the pads come on. Uh, both kind of bring positives and negatives, whether it's Jesse and his consistency, which improved late last season, and, and Xavier Grimble with his drops. Um, you know, what is going to be key for both of them, you know, in order to, as they're competing to kind of elevate themselves one from the other? I mean, I'd say it's Jesse. He has the best chance. Uh, yeah, I think Jesse James goes in as a prohibitive favorite. He's got to obviously improve a little upon his blocking. You saw him do a pretty good job in the Miami game in the playoffs where he, he sprung uh, Antonio Brown for a touchdown. But I think the biggest thing for Jesse James is earning and keeping the trust of Ben Roethlisberger. Same for any receiver. is right. You have to have the trust of Roethlisberger so he can, he's willing to go back to, to his uh, tight ends.